Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. Um, today, uh, let's have a, a very belated look at the um, English version exclusive uh, Tempest uh, Evolution. Uh, she came out last year around, uh, I forget, September, October. I uh, finally, finally pulled her so I can do a review of her. And then, um, yeah, let's look at her stats first. Uh, she is a balance type. Uh, her hit points are very high, uh, almost a 24,000. Um, that's kind of my cutoff mark for saying someone is an HP tank, 24,000, so she's almost there. Uh, next attack is around uh, 21, 22, um, but for her, um, that doesn't matter as much because she has a Slayer ability. And then uh, finally, her uh, speed is so-so, uh, about uh, 340. And then uh, we look at her abilities, uh, she has Pierce, uh, no gravity barrier, and then on the gauge she has a Dark Slayer. Uh, one of the few characters with a uh, element slayer. Um, and then, yeah, I've said this in uh, previous videos, but any character with both uh, pierce and an element slayer is automatically awesome. <laughs> uh, yeah, and she's no exception. Um, and there's only other one other character with a uh, dark slayer, and that is um, uh, Chio, or uh, SST Tinker Tyrant. Um, but she's a bounce. And uh, she's also very slow, so yeah, they play uh, very differently. They fill uh, different niches. And then, uh, looking at uh, the strike shot, it is a uh, command strike shot, uh, which is easier, f easy for her to use uh, because she is a pierce. Uh, she can hit your other guys pretty easily. And then uh, her strike, sh or her bump combo is the same as uh, Tsukiyomi. It's the uh, lightning. It hits uh, six random guys and then has a small chance to stun for two turns. So that's pretty darn good. And uh, yeah, she is uh, similar to a uh, character that's coming out in the future. Uh, his name is uh, Miyamoto Musashi. He's another Pierce No Gravity Barrier uh, Dark Slayer. And then on um, Game With, the, uh, the Japanese uh, ranking and review and strategy site, um, they list him as the uh, fourth best uh, light character, after Royce, Arthur, and um, uh, who was the other one? Royce, Arthur, and uh, Striker, right? Um, but actually, we don't have any of those characters' ultimate versions now, um, so you could say that uh, Tempest is the best light character in the English version right now. Um, uh, that would go for the Ascension, actually. I'm gonna go ahead and make that uh, judgment call. Uh, Tempest Ascension is the best light character in the game right now, and then Tempest Evolution is the second best. Uh, but when we get Arthur, Striker, and Royce, then that'll probably mix it up a little bit. Okay, so uh, we will use her in one of the missions that she is the best for, which is uh, Tsukiyomi, of course. So I have another video queued up, we'll bring that up. <clears throat> and uh, for Tsukiyomi, you want uh, all of your guys with uh, no gravity barrier. And then, uh, yeah, just to be a jerk, I am bringing all my uh, limited characters with no gravity barrier. Uh, but as you shall see, uh, even if you have a bunch of strong characters, uh, if you don't play right, things can go wrong. <laughs> Uh, so for this first stage, you know, I wanted to aim for that little ribbon hanging up there so that I could beat this stage in uh, one turn. Uh, did not turn out that way. And then, yeah, if you don't get that first shot, uh, your chances of dying on this first stage are actually pretty high. So we'll see if I can uh, make it happen. Uh, I do, of course. I wouldn't be showing you the video otherwise, but... Uh, to talk quickly about the, uh, the rest of the team I'm using, I'm using a Lancelot X. He's got Null Gravity Barrier and uh, Recovery. And uh, Recovery is uh, very, very useful for this uh, mission, since there are no hearts. Uh, next, I am using uh, Agnamut X. And uh, she isn't usually thought of as good for uh, Tsukiyomi. Um, but it's her Null Gravity Barrier, of course. And then her High Speed. Uh, and then her uh, White Blast that are really good for this mission. Uh, the White Blast has a big uh, blast radius, so it can set off a lot of uh, bump combos easily. And then uh, finally I'm using uh, Nobunaga X, um, also no, no gravity barrier. 
Um, and then she has a, a Grand Command Strike Shot, one of the best strike shots in the game. So, she'll be useful there. And uh, yeah, Tempest. Um, for She is a Pierce type, and then uh, for Tsukuyomi, you uh, want to bring at least one. That's what I would recommend. Um, but I like to play with uh, bounce characters for the most part, so that's part of the reason why everybody else is a bounce. And then uh, as for other monsters that uh, Tempest is, or uh, other missions Tempest is good for, um, she's really good for uh, Takiyasha. Uh, Takiyasha is one of the best max lux you can make, so Tempest can help you there. And then uh, here, we'll, uh, move, we'll have a quick look at the uh, mini-boss here. Uh, but let's pay attention to how much uh, damage uh, Tempest can do to the boss, especially. Uh, she can one-punch the enemies, of course, but uh, we'll keep an eye on her to see how much damage she does to the boss. Alrighty. And then uh, other missions that Tempest is good for. Um, uh, Bastet, of course. Uh, she's another uh, max luck uh, worth making. Um, you could take her to uh, Dark Dragon, of course. Um, Dark Dragon is a uh, popular quest to play uh, for uh, trying to go after Hakua. Uh, because it's uh, pretty easy. And then with Tempest Evolution, it'll be even easier. And then um, Tempest could actually be usable for Hakua uh, because she has the uh, Command Strike Shot. Um, who else could uh, use her? Uh, let's look at the damage here. Okay, ooh, okay. <laughs> So two passes through the weak point, uh, one pass uh, not through the weak point, and uh, we did over half a million damage, so that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, with her Slayer you will get through the uh, stages uh, more quickly, uh, in theory, and uh, that's always good. That means more uh, hit points at the beginning of the next mission. Okay, and then who else could she be good for? Um... Dark Murasame, for sure. Um, yeah, the boss uh, doesn't have a lot of hit points uh, to begin with in that mission, so... Uh, yeah, she could be great for uh, Dark Murasame. And I wonder if she would be good for Dark Muramasa as well. Um, she only has the single ability, no gravity barrier. Um, her pierce would come in handy, that's for sure. Whoa! <laughs> Alright, we just uh, creamed the boss there. Alright, very good. Um, the thing about Tempest in uh, Dark Murasame is that her Slayer wouldn't come in handy until the last uh, the boss stages, so... I don't know. I might give her a try someday. And uh, yeah, that's the, uh, those are the ones that I can think of, uh, Dark Quests, that she would be good for. Uh, basically any quest that uh, Chio is good for, uh, but if you need a Pierce instead, and more speed. And a Command Strike Shot. <laughs> okay. And then uh, as for Able Berries, that would be good for uh, Tempest here. Um, just like any character with um, the uh, Element Slayer, a uh, Raising Her Strength would be good, um, because that would get multiplied uh, by, the, uh, by the Element Slayer. Um, you could also raise her speed, um, so that she gets more uh, passes uh, through the, uh, the boss's weak point. And then that would also help her uh, Command Strike Shot as well. You could give her the uh, the knockout able berry that works pretty well with the pierce types and also characters with um, the command strike shot. Um, what else? Ah, uh, you could give her the uh, detox able berry. Um, she would be okay for uh, floor twenty four of the uh, tower. And then also uh, there is some poison here in the Tsukuyomi, as we can see, so that can come in handy here as well. Um, cutthroat? Uh, not Cutthroat, sorry. Um, survivor. Survivor could be good. 
Um, Survivor is good for uh, characters that come here to skill me, because you want to prevent as much damage as possible. I wouldn't really recommend Strike Haste for her. Okay, pretty good. So I think we're at the boss now. Yeah, to uh, tell the truth, I've been having a little bit of a slump um, in Tsukiyomi. I try to beat all of the impossible missions with uh, two Max Lux, um, but um, I don't know, the last few times I've been playing Tsukiyomi, I haven't been able to beat it with uh, two Max Lux. So I've been going back to um, all uh, drop monster parties, just overpowered uh, parties, and that's been going better. Helped me get my uh, confidence back. <laughs> Uh, but with uh, Tempest here, I did try it again with Max Lux, and then I got the uh, the clear. So uh, yeah, maybe I'll go back to uh, using Max Lux. And then uh, here, unfortunately, uh, Tempest had the ability lock, so her uh, Dark Slayer was turned off. So not as much damage there. Okay, we'll just concentrate on getting rid of the uh, the wizard-looking guys. And then, of course, with uh, Lancelot, we will try to uh, hit all of our guys to get as much uh, recovery as possible. Alright, we got it there, so that's pretty big. Yeah, let's see how much damage Tempest does here. She does have the power down, but we'll see. Okay, pretty good. Um, and then uh, she got the uh, the stun on the uh, the wolf up there, so that's always handy. Uh, much more handy, of course, on the boss than on the enemies, since the enemies uh, are taken down in one hit. Okay, so we'll go to the next uh, boss stage. And then here, um, I actually like to use uh, my strike shots pretty freely. Um, because I do want to, you know, clear the field as much as possible, preferably including the uh, Tiamat down there. So yeah, we'll try to hit all the shields and the Tiamat and the boss. And hope it doesn't revive next turn. Okay, it did, so... And uh, we have the ability lock again, so we don't have the Slayer ability. So to make up for the lost uh, power, we'll use another Strike Shot here. Okay, and then this time we completely cleared the field of all of the enemies, so the chances of the uh, Tia not coming back are lower. Okay, so this is ideal when uh, Tsukiyomi revives a couple of the shields. Okay, good. We can get some uh, direct damage on the boss. Okay, still good. We like it when the shields are revived. But we'll see if we can get rid of them this turn. <clears throat> okay, very good again. <laughs> All right, so even with the uh, the power down, uh, we did uh, about 600,000 with uh, Tempest, so that's pretty great. Okay, last stage. I think we're going to use uh, Agamut X's Strike Shot to clear the field, hopefully. No, we got a little bit uh, caught up in something, so... 
One guy left, and not a lot of damage on the boss either. Okay, pretty good. Alright, we'll try to get Lancelot out of there. And fail. <laughs> okay, we didn't take down the wizard, so the uh, damage walls came out. So we'll uh, be a little bit careful. Uh, but more important than that is just to get rid of all the little guys every turn. Okay, pretty good. Alright, so here I saw that the angles were pretty good for, um, or the placement was pretty good for Nobunaga X's uh, strike shot, so we'll use that. Okay, pretty good. Uh, no more strike shots, so we'll just concentrate on uh, direct damage. Alright, excellent. And then uh, the second Tsukiyomi should be coming out. Although... Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we have the, uh, the weak point lineup uh, perfectly for Tempest. And that's one great advantage that Tempest has in this mission. Um, is that um, if, you, uh, if your placement is good enough with the weak point, um, you can sort of end the stage um, in a way that you can't really do with any other character. Um, so there we saw that we took away uh, 1.5 million away from uh, the boss there. And uh, yeah, if you find yourself in a situation where you can take away uh, that much damage to end the stage, you can go ahead and do that and then ignore the little guys around, even though you would normally go for the little guys. Um, so yeah, it's almost like a, a strike shot to end the, uh, the mission, uh, but with just the regular attack. So yeah, uh, Tempest Evolution, uh, if you get her, I highly recommend her. Um, however, I'm going to go with the Ascension, and then I'll do a video about her to talk about why I chose that. Okay, thanks for watching. We'll see you again. Take care.